Hey guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm Becca, and if you wanna see how I run my small Etsy jewelry business, you're in the right place. Today is Tuesday, and I'm gonna be packaging orders because that's always my first priority. So if you're interested in just the packaging portion with the pretty music behind it, I will put a timestamp so you can go ahead and click on that and just watch that section. Otherwise, today I'm gonna to be talking about how I test out new products to decide if I'm gonna put them in my shop or not. I've already filmed the unboxing, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that. And if you stick around to the end, I will let you know if the products lasted or not. And if you're interested in where I got these products and how I find supplies for my Etsy jewelry business, just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll let you know where I get my stuff. Sometimes it can be hard to figure out where to start. So if you wanna know, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will let you know any information that I have. All right, so let's go and get this day started. This very first one is a repeat order. And then I wanted to try out a couple new ones from this supplier. I know that one of the products works really well. And if I keep accidentally looking at the wrong spot, it's because I accidentally look at my own face. It's kind of hard not to. I'm working on looking at the camera lens. Now, let me just tell you the one that I got, I've had before and I know is good, is this Faith Over Fear necklace. It's awesome. I actually don't use the chains on it though, because the chains are not awesome. So here is my Faith Over Fear necklace. As you can see, it's beautiful. It's awesome. I ordered a bunch because this is a top seller. They come in gold, rose gold, and silver. I'm a gold person myself but I'll show you the rose gold while we're at it. Sorry for all the crinkling noises, everybody. But the rose gold, oh, it's so pretty. I don't have really much rose gold. Actually, that ring I have from my mother-in-law's rose gold, but there's the rose gold. It's so pretty. And I also have it in silver. You guys wanna see the silver? Okay, I'll show you the silver because you insisted. Anyway, the card, that, the jewelry backing card that this comes with, I'll insert a picture, but it's gorgeous and it's really encouraging especially for somebody who may be going through a difficult time, which who hasn't been going through a difficult time this last year, right? Here's the silver. From the same supplier, I got a few different flower ones. I love flowers, I'm a little obsessed with them. They're with, they're in all my packaging and logo and all that kind of stuff because I'm obsessed. This one is a sunflower. And now on my jewelry shop, I do have a sunflower necklace already listed. I just don't have a gold for it. So I try, I got this guy. It's a gold sunflower. Ooh, okay. I'm already, oh, okay. Maybe I'm obsessed with it. You're probably obsessed with that. I got three of these to test out. So I will be testing one of these out this week. I also got a really pretty peony. And this I got in the, sil the silver gold and rose gold. So I'm gonna test that out. And I'm sure that they're going to wear just like I I know how well the, the Faith and Fear one well, wears, but I'm gonna test them out anyway, just because it's my due diligence. Before I sell a product, I wanna make sure it is up to the standards that I need it at. All right, so I've got another one here. This one I actually did buy to replace something I already had, which is a um, gold rose necklace that is pretty popular and I've sold a lot of, and I'll just show you the charm here. So that's the gold rose charm. It is gold plated stainless steel, super good quality. I've worn it so many times and it hasn't tarnished. Pretty awesome. And I bought these to refill that because I can't find those anywhere, but they are smaller. This is the new one that I just got in the mail, which actually it's not, they're not that much smaller and I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. So I'm probably going to just relist these and change the sizing on it. But so when I run out of the big ones, I will replace this, these with that. And I do actually need to test this out too, because I don't know how this new, this is a new manufacturer. So I don't know how long they last. I need to test them out. Now I also got this other new product that I have nothing like this in my shop right now. And it is these Gosh, how many sizes does this have? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon, is that a hexagon? Okay, it's this geometric shape. And please don't judge me for not knowing the shape of this. And I think that this would be super cute on a necklace, kind of as a connector. So you have like the chains that come that would come off of it. This one is gold plate, plated stainless steel too. So I'm gonna try that one out and we're gonna give it a test run and see if it's gonna become a product or not. These are my, I'm gonna be careful when cutting because you don't wanna cut the paper in here. This is from Paper Mart and this is where I get my jewelry boxes. I have tried um, places on Amazon which can actually be cheaper. However, they are not consistent. They change their pack, like their pictures remain the same, but their packaging, the actual boxes change and that drove me bonkers. So I started getting my um, jewelry boxes from Paper Mart. They're always consistent. It's never different and they are the best. 
So these are mine. They are, well, if you're interested in knowing exactly what the name is, I will let you guys know. Um, they have little pinstripes on them. They're craft, they're craft boxes, but they have a little bit more of a higher quality to them. And yeah, so I just, I'm never going back. These are my boxes. I love them. So and that's my unboxing. I'm gonna get that stuff put away and organized and I'm gonna check in with you guys this week as I test these products out and see how they're doing. And the way that I do that is I make my children do it. So, <laughs> and myself, I wear them and we don't take them off. We wear them in the water, in the shower so that we can get like a, a condensed view of what they will be like. None of my jewelry is intended to be worn in water um, because it, it won't last as long at all. So it's not suggested, I mean, it's not suggested to wear any jewelry in water ever, but um, I wear it in the water and I make my kids wear it in the water so that we can test it in a condensed period of time, how long it lasts. And if it makes it meets my criteria and my grade, then we will push it through and it will become a product. If it doesn't, it ain't making it. I am testing out this little necklace right here. I actually think it's super cute. So we're gonna see how long it lasts and if it's gonna be a good one that'll make it into the shop. I hope it is, cause it's really cute. I can try if you let me With our lives I am bleeding Who am I without stories that aren't mine What I did to achieve you Gave me air, thought I had to 
Hey guys, I just wanted to pop back on here and do the update on all of the jewelry that I've tested out. So I have tested out every piece and they all work really, really well. I'm actually really happy with the quality. So I will be listing them in my shop soon. In fact, I have the peace sign necklace on right now. Oh, the one thing that didn't work out was the moon earrings, the moon earring studs, because, okay, so they're very cute like this, but then look at the other ear. It faces the other direction. It, I need it to face like that direction. I don't know why, I don't know if that's like an OCD thing. Tell me if you feel the same way, but, um, so I don't feel like I could sell a set of earrings like this because I feel like people would assume that they would be, you know, this one would come in like that, but everything else lasted really Really, really well and I'm super happy with the quality I had my kids wear it I wore it and we wore them in the water even though you're not supposed to and they lasted really well again if you want to know where I got any of these supplies or where you can start to look for your own supplies for your business just message me in the comments down below and I will be more than happy to share all that I know with you so that's all I have for you guys today thank you for watching and if you guys are interested in more information on how I run my small Etsy jewelry business just go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm going to be trying to upload a studio vlog every week and kind of talking about different topics that I have experienced and things that I've learned. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
We are dreamers of the